download the app now hi guys welcome back i think i learned some things in the previous problem session now in this session i'm here with some more interesting ac circuits i think from those circuits again like always you'll be recapping the concepts what you learned and you'll be diving into the little deeper analysis of the things which you may not be aware okay so let's roll to the questions without further delay i'm um, on to the first question here you go you got a minute time within a minute time you have to answer this see uh, without using calculator try to handle this because in this session the questions are you know it's a combination of your apti skills as well as your circuit skills okay you have to mix your apti skills also anyways try doing this just mark a b c whatever good others 10 seconds more okay time's up so only got uh two answers i think you need to think beyond your limit okay maybe you are restricting your thinking maybe anyways let's see this in a given series rc circuit so whenever you hear this rc circuit or whatever i recommend you to go for a quick drawing quick diagram that will help you immensely okay so try to pick the figure try to draw the figure okay the voltage across a resistor is 30 volts it is at 30 volts this voltage is 30 volts of course ac voltage not dc okay and inductance is 40 volts this is 40 volts okay now the total voltage across this if it is a dc you can straight away add up these two 40 plus 30 so which is going to be 70 if it is a dc but we're talking about ac naturally okay so 70 is not the answer okay because it's a vector sum so 30 volts is somewhere over here this is 30 volts resistor voltage is this can you help me in telling where is the inductor voltage in which direction inductor voltage will be yeah inductor voltage if resistor voltage is here where is inductor voltage that's going to be interesting okay let's see i want i want to see your response in which side 90 degrees but downside or upside that's what i want to i want to know yeah give that information will that be downwards will that be upwards careful there is a trap you will be trapped you will be trapped take care yeah i know you'll be trapped and you're all trapped upside this is 40 volts see you have to be very clear this is 30 volts is in this direction means the current flowing i is in this direction am i right so inductor voltage if it is here the current lags 90 degrees i'm just talking about inductor voltage and inductor current just inductor voltage and inductor current they lag 90 degrees to each other so if the inductor voltage is over here current will be lagging 90 degrees so inductor voltage is upwards okay I hope you got the clarity on that. See, these are the little, little things, tiny things, but very interesting things and very important things too. Okay. See, with these questions, at least you should learn these, you should fill these gaps. Okay. When, when you're maybe studying the concepts, you may not be connecting these dots. Obviously, uh, I'll be discussing all these points, but it might be tough for you to, you know, uh, understand at that point. But now you should be able to understand what I'm trying to say okay anyways now this is 30 this is 40 now the resultant will be vector sum of these two obviously the pythagoras so now 30 square plus 40 square 
and you already know i've been saying all the time square root of 3 square plus 4 square square root of 3 square plus 4 square is how much is 5 right so this is a popular thing i ask you to remember this so now it is 30 square plus 40 square so what is the answer it's 50 you know you're not using a calculator with the practice you're applying rapti skills so that's the answer that's the answer 50 is the answer okay anyways i think you got a clarity on few aspects i'm going to the next one okay yep here you go Careful, there is a trap. High chances that you will be trapped. Wow. Pretty nice really good to see this response okay so none of you are wrong there is a trap but all of you overcome the trap okay you handle the trap very nicely i think we can have a blast yeah time's up a simple question and you handled it amazingly okay so the impedance of two element series circuit is represented by like this means the elements are clearly saying it is RC circuit. The circuit is RC. How do you know that it's an RC circuit? It's from the negative sign. Okay. R minus JXC. So this is definitely minus JX, which means a capacitor. Okay. Now at a certain frequency, these are values. If the frequency is doubled, the frequency is doubled and the value is, this is 20 and this XC value is, it's basically 10. This resistance is pretty much going to the same irrespective of frequency for any frequency resistance value does not change okay so this is wrong this is wrong so 20 20 that's true that's true now xc that's the point xc is equal to 1 by omega c omega increases xc reduces inversely related okay so it is a double so xc will be half of it so answer is c so that's Really good to see. Okay, so next one. Try this. So you need to fill the gaps when you're solving these questions, okay? Not just looking at it and doing that, okay? Whatever you prepare, there will be always some gaps. Now, practice, you didn't practice these, those gaps will be filled up. Okay. Again, don't think that you need a calculator for this. Okay, if calculator facility is available in the exam, you can use it. Otherwise, without calculator, also you should be able to use your apt skills in solving these kind of questions. Okay. Okay, it's good to see some answers. Everybody started saying B. Let's see whether it is right or wrong. Your time's up. And the circuit shown below, uh, the current is current value is given. See, really interesting questions. Current value is given in the circuit. The applied voltage is asked. Okay. So this is R L circuit. Simple guys. This is R L circuit. For R L circuit, if suppose current is here, if this is a current vector, where will the voltage? The voltage, total voltage, total current. This is I of T. V of T will be downside or upside? Here, yeah. it is upside. So that's what current lacks the voltage or maybe you can say voltage leads the current. So 
simply we'll, we'll talk about current only by taking a reference to the voltage with reference to voltage current is lagging okay by an angle some 5 degrees okay or maybe theta we can call anything okay so definitely now this phase is 0 500 t minus there is no phase angle so this is taken as a reference with reference to this voltage will be leading means the voltage will have a positive angle voltage will have a positive angle with sine sine positive angle that's the first thing okay angle is positive so some plus theta okay and same 500 rt sine now what's the magnitude of this current is 4 ohms current is sorry 4 ampere current is 4 ampere now if you see this is z z value will be definitely greater than 10 I'm not finding out what's the value of XL here, not required. It's not a fill in the blank question. It is MCQ question. So Z value is definitely greater than 10, which means voltage value will be definitely greater than 4. Okay. So greater than 10, not greater than 4, greater than even 40. Okay. So 40 is wrong answer. 40 is wrong answer. Greater than 40, greater than 10 into 4 means greater than 40 so this is 56.5 c that's the only option available okay or simply you can find out this z value multiply with this current magnitude you will get 56.56 you should be getting rather okay now out of these two which one to pick it up sine 500 t plus 45 yes it is in the pretty much similar format okay so if you, if you talk about this this is plus cosine so angle will be much greater and the angle according to this the angle this angle will be between 0 to 90 degrees okay and sine so we exactly got that 45 is said yes that's true now if the angle is 45 if the angle is 45 means what this value will be exactly 10 ohms 10 plus j10 will give you angle perfect 45 degrees okay i think you know this logic also yeah, simple one you have it's in the first quadrant if the x-axis and y-axis are having same magnitude then the angle will be 45 degrees exactly okay so 10 10 45 degrees you are having 45 degrees i mean there are different ways your apt skills you'll have to put it up here okay so nowadays questions are designed you know sometimes apt they're separately giving it but if, if, they, if they don't have a scope of giving separately, they can include the apt equations also here by asking these kind of interesting questions without giving a calculator to you. Okay, maybe. Anyways, moving on to the next question. Because some exams, they don't ask for calculator, they don't allow you calculator, right? So for that, you have to handle this way. Again, time's up. We got less responses, but it's okay. Okay. They ask, I mean, you, you did nice job. The following circuit, the voltage across the inductor is good. So this voltage it is asked for. And total voltage is 220. And the frequency is this. See how nicely they gave the frequency. 100 by 2 pi. Now you don't have to calculate for Excel. XL is equal to, you know, it's 2 pi FL, right? L value is 1, nice number. And F value is 100 by 2 pi. So basically, he's trying to say XL is equal to 100. He's trying to give XL also is equal to 100 ohms. 
okay so now the question is what's the value of uh, voltage across this voltage across this is how much okay so total voltage is 220 simple voltage division rule here that's it what else you'll do you have two elements both are having ohmic values but definitely this is j it's not 100 ohms if it is just simple 100 ohms and 100 ohms not an imaginary number then the voltage will equally divide here 110 here 110 so option would have been d but now the case is different it's j100 it is given it's given j100 so now you have to consider that as well it will have a significant effect okay so according to the voltage division you just apply voltage division 220 is the total voltage i'm just taking 220 divided by you have 100 and plus j100 and this is also again you know you don't have to uh, brainstorm too much on this for calculator sir we're dealing with complex numbers with our calculator how can you do complex numbers you don't have to cry for all these put your thought practice more then you will know how to handle these complex numbers also with our calculator okay so into into you have j100 okay now here if you see it it is cons the main concern is about the magnitude only they're not asking about the angles and all okay of course it's not tough to find out the angle because for this angle it's it's pretty much clear what's the angle for this angle for the denominator just now i said 45 degrees 100 here 100 here 45 degrees is angle okay but it is not asked about the angle so you don't have to even worry about the angle just figure out the magnitude of this okay so what's the magnitude of this 100 plus j 100 how much? Simply square root of 100 square plus 100 square. I think you can straight away answer this. You will get root 2 into 100 because 100 square is 2 times 2 times of 100 square. 100 square goes out, it becomes 100 out of the root. So root 2, root 2 as it is. This is what the magnitude of this. So in the denominator, I'm just simply placing this magnitude, okay, I'm simply placing this magnitude which is root 2 into 100, okay, root 2 into 100, and this 100 magnitude, this 100 magnitude goes away, 220 by root 2, answer is A, bingo, okay, so, yeah, I think you're knowing the tricks, right, these tricks are from AT, okay, so apt is not a separate subject it is part and parcel of your life daily life okay especially for engineers these apt skills analytical skills these quantitative aptitude skills are you know should be pretty much handy because as always as everybody says engineers are lazy so being a lazy person you should know how to handle these things wisely without even calculator okay anyways so i think you're all knowing the approach of dealing these complex numbers or what are the numbers for that matters easy numbers remember they are giving these complex numbers by knowing that they don't allow calculator to the exam means they will keep some nice and simple methods just the way it is given frequency here they're not even calculating the frequency it is j100 without using calculator okay so that will be there they are not stupids. The exam people who are setting paper, they are not stupids. Okay. They know what they're doing. So if you are worried, you are nowhere. Okay. You need to stay ahead, ahead of all these things. You need to know all these things. Okay. Anyways, moving on to the next one. Bang on. Yeah. First, we got some really interesting questions this time. Okay, regard related to circuits. Because these circuits, AC circuits is key thing for electrical engineers, definitely. AC circuits directly as well as indirectly. Okay, your life is all about AC circuits. We got a beautiful update from uh, Kranti Kumar, you guys can check it out the chat. 
चल नहीं आएगा जी क्यों अरे करो यार पॉपअप लगा दो ठीक है मैं डालता कर दो ओके टाइम सर सो नाउ लेट्स हेड टू द सॉल्यूशन इन अ सीरीज मोस्ट ऑफ द आंसर फॉर बी ओके In a series RL circuit, the voltage across the resistance is 40 volts. Okay, series RL circuit is given. So quickly give it a draw, man. Come on. So it is. It's just going to take maybe few seconds, but gives a lot of clarity. Okay. So yeah, uh, voltage across the resistance is 40 volts. This voltage is 40 volts. AC naturally. Plus minus I'm giving. It doesn't mean that it's a DC voltage. It's AC. Okay. and this voltage is 40 so definitely 80 is not an answer okay so 40 plus 40 80 directly arithmetic sum won't be the answer okay it's actually the vector sum so again this is simple you have two vectors equal in length so take it as 1 and 1 so the resultant will be root 2 okay the so sum will not be even you don't have to do the math also when you add two vectors which are 90 degrees to each other the sum will not be 40 it will be definitely greater than 40 not less than 40 definitely greater than 40 because two vectors if they are perpendicular to each other it is greater than 40 not 40 not even 80 so answer is this bingo okay anyways i think got the method these are all previous questions in in different exams they ask these questions How nice is that, you know? I think Krantik Kumar has come up with some update. You can see on screen. Okay, time's up. Let's see. What is the RMS voltage in a series RL circuit? Okay, you got a series RL circuit. uh 256 volts is this and this is 192 volts respectively voltage across r and l good so what is asked for what's the rms value in series means this total voltage is asked for total voltage ac voltage naturally rms value okay so for that uh directly add these two up Two fifty six and one ninety two. It's something close to four forty eight. So four forty eight is wrong answer. <laughs> okay, when you're adding these two directly, you're getting four forty eight. That's wrong answer. And definitely answer is greater than two fifty six, but less than four forty eight. That's answer. Okay, so greater than two fifty six. This is wrong. This is wrong. The only correct option is A. Bingo. Okay, you are not doing the math. Actually, you should be. You should be doing it as what? Actually, you should be doing as two fifty six whole square plus it's one ninety two square. Okay, you should do this. But without actually doing that, you got the answer. 
using your aptitude skills and basic understanding of the circuits okay that's what it's not that uh you know changing maybe a calculator because this will definitely frighten you in exam if you don't know the real trick it will frighten you in exam because you don't have a calculator handy it will kill your time these questions are time killing questions if you don't know the pattern of handling these questions that's why see repeatedly they ask in the similar pattern okay even there are even more questions based on this pattern but i purposefully discard those questions because uh, it's it's useless to take the same questions in a different you know there are more number of questions in the same pattern so there are even more questions i discarded them but yes i think you're understanding the sense of it these are time killing questions if you don't know the process of handling these questions okay if you know the process of handling these questions maybe it's a 10 seconds question right anyways moving on exactly sai ganesh even mentioned that very good the, if this logic if it hits to you bingo so it's not really about the answer it's about the logic what you're getting good try to give your analysis trithish what do you think what makes you to pick this option you responded very quickly that's a really good sign and we got some really interesting uh, you know we will announce winners this time in this session you try to participate more in this quiz when you are participating more in the quiz so at last i'll announce maybe one or two winners of the quiz so they'll get some nice discounts in the courses okay yeah time's up so only we got we received less answers for this i don't know why okay let's see r must less for series r must be less for series okay the equivalent uh series resistance of a capacitor c in terms of its power factor and operation frequency f so it is asked for r value as a function of frequency and capacitance value okay so one of the logic is they are saying uh, it should be less value you know uh, malteja is trying to say i think r must be less so when you're having this factor it is less but that's not uh, you know it's not mandatory you know some capacitors may have high resistance you know it's not nasal always the capacitor will have less resistance so what what else i think only we got received three answers or four answers what else made you to pick the option a i want pool proof thing in terms of cos phi in terms of xc it's definitely omega c 1 by omega c what about cos phi yeah tell that yeah i'm i'm waiting either tritesh or potatoes or raju or the lakshmi who pick option d option a but where are the responses is it a fluke you guys are given half huh? anyways so what's a power factor i always say power factor first of all tell me what is a power factor means when somebody ask what is a power factor this is a really key thing when somebody ask what is a power factor uh what what will be your answer hmm when somebody ask what is the power factor what will be your answer just about the power factor good we already got the answer from tridesh power factor just definition of power factor i am listening
परफेक्ट सिंपल थिंग एब्सोल्यूटली पावर फैक्टर मीन्स यू शुड नेवर से इट इज कॉस फाइव द वे मल्ट इज जाएंगे इज एब्सोल्यूटली राइट इट इज रेशियो ऑफ रियल पावर टू द अपरेंट पावर एंड for this madhudeja and uh, i think potato has really responded by considering it is highly highly sorry highly capacitive okay means resistance will be definitely less for this case so we know power factor is cos phi is in one way it is valid not always true power factor is for rc circuit it is cos phi that's true okay and it is R by Z for RC circuit, but in general, power factor when somebody is asking, this is this is most general equation. Power factor means active power by apparent power. This is what the perfect definition. That's what the ratio of two powers power factor. Okay. Now, if you consider in case of it's asking for ESR, this is ESR. equivalent series resistance of a capacitor you know for every you know if you take a resistor also there will be a capacitance within it there will be inductance within it but we tend to ignore those okay resistor will have resistance inductance and capacitance but significant amount of resistance and that's why we'll ignore the inductance effect and capacitance effect for a resistor case okay similarly for a capacitor it will have resistance also that's what equivalent series resistance whose value will be naturally less so if i consider that z is equal to square root of r square plus x square so if this resistance value is normally very less that's why we tend to ignore it but if you want to represent that also i'm putting it here so approximately this is equal to this why i'm taking this approximation these guys have rightly said r value is very less so these will be almost almost equal so now if i put that here in place of z i'm just placing xc now take it to the other side r is equal to xc into simply resistance is equal to xc into cos phi Okay, so where x is one by two pi f c, so answer is two pi f c cos phi. Yeah, this answer is a. Absolutely, leakage reactance. There is one more react, one more resistance. Sorry, apart from this resistance, there is one more resistance. That resistance is called as leakage reactance. Okay, if we consume some amount of power also due to the leakage current. that leakage reactant leakage resistance i'm saying leakage reactants that resistance will represent in parallel so the capacitance representation is this this is a capacitance representation capacitor representation by considering the esr this is a representation this is esr equivalent series resistance if we include leakage resistance also then this will be the capacitor representation this is what the exact capacitor representation including esr and this is r leakage okay this is esr in core anyways i think you got these points uh how much active power converted into real power is defined by power factor there is also you know little bit of elaborate explanation of power factor that's good okay moving on to the next question it's good participation for this so these kind of interesting questions are really you know good to see this one also it looks little you know uh, like bigger one you know bingo kind of a thing tough kind of a thing but it is easy it looks like a ghost huh
okay good we got some interesting answers for this keep it up i think uh, everybody marked for option a but sadly yeah possibly right yes possibly right not possibly right exactly right okay okay the first reason first thing is voltage is this current is this so current lags the voltage or current leads the voltage current lags the voltage minus 45 degrees voltage vector is here current is lagging by 45 degrees this is what the current vector this is what the voltage vector so definitely it is rl circuit that's pretty much clear okay that reactance is inductive reactance so this is wrong this is wrong means option c and d are wrong why wrong they're having negative sign which implies the circuit is rc circuit but it is not okay so out of these two which one is right it's easy call because the angle is 45 degrees if the angle is 45 degrees i've been saying this these two magnitudes are equal r value x value are equal then only we'll have the magnitude 45 degrees tan inverse of x by r tan inverse of x by r tan inverse of 1 is 45 degrees simple so answer is this you are not doing any math here you know the concept you know a little bit of mathematics that's it there you go Sanjeev is back. Don't worry when you look at the term transfer function at all. It's easy one, okay. It is given clearly a V2 of S by V1 of S. That's it. Okay. It's not asking a frequency domain, rather, it is asked in S domain. A little bit of change. Okay. That's a good response. Let's see. Your time's up. Uh, total voltage this is in s domain as it is one in time domain in any domain one is resistance is as it is r one farad is it's in s domain it is one by cs where c is a capacitance value s is s so this capacitance value is one so it is one by s one by one into s which is one by s okay so the voltage across this divided by the total voltage okay so this is simply 1 by s divided by total voltage is 1 plus 1 by s okay or simply you can say current is same right in this circuit current is same it's a series circuit current is same so i can take it as i into maybe output i into output which is let's take that this one z2 of s divided by v1 is total voltage total voltage current into total impedance z t of s so current current get cancelled this is z2 of s by z t of s total impedance total impedance output impedance is this is how much z2 of s is how much 1 by s total impedance is this and this they are in series there in series add them up 1 plus 1 by s because its unit is ohm 1 by s ohm this is also ohm okay so z2 of s by z t of s that's the answer which is this so if you simplify this you're going to get 1 by s plus 1 here yeah. just simplifying this 1 by s plus 1 bingo okay i think you're clear if you have any confusion let me know I think we are half through the question. Let me announce one winner here. Okay. Let me announce one winner here at least. 
कैसे अच्छा ठीक है सो यूल जस्ट गेट ए स्क्रीन ठीक है चलो एक बार यार ओके यू कैन सी द स्क्रीन so most commented people most responded people will be displayed here and the winner is winner is lakshmi lakshmi is a winner okay lakshmi is a winner now what she she won is theek hai mai kar do so far we are half through we are half through the winner is lakshmi now we contact us lakshmi on whatsapp we'll share a discount coupon code a special discount of 30% on any course you choose on whatever the offer you have on top of that offer you will get 30% extra discount okay so yeah you can climb that by whatsapping us yeah that's it moving on to the next question to jump something yes okay take this Congratulations to Lakshmi for winning the coupon. So guys, you also participate. When you're participating, then only you'll get a chance to get the wheel running. You know, in the in the wheel, your name will be there, and if you're lucky enough, it will pick your name. The software pick your name. but to get into the wheel you have to respond your responses will make you get into the wheel okay five more seconds okay time's up let's see how many of you are right in ac series rlc circuit okay quickly i'm drawing rlc circuit that's always a good practice the voltage across r and l is 20 volts interesting this voltage is 20 volts voltage across l and c is 9 volts okay voltage across rlc is 15 volts okay so do you see this these kind of voltage calculation questions they are simple but you should handle them nicely so that you will not kill the time without killing the time without wasting much of time maybe within half half a minute or no you should be able to answer this that's what the key challenge here i know you are going to get the answer in in the exam also but it will kill 2 minutes of time maybe you should not do that okay uh yeah so now What is the speed? Is ask for this voltage. What is this voltage? To get this voltage, if you subtract fifteen minus twenty, you're not going to get that. Okay, in that way, you're not going to get it. One thing I can say. One thing I can say. Definitely, the value will be less than twenty, because when you have R, L, and C, R, L voltage is twenty. This voltage is not known. When you add them up. yeah total voltage is definitely 15 that's true so elimination by elimination i think we cannot do that let's go direct method you know why to go for elimination at all so from this i am finding total voltage is 15 because i am writing a formula total voltage is equal to resistance voltage square plus vl minus 
Vc whole square. This is what the formula for total voltage. Where this total voltage is given as 15 in your case, this is given as 15 and this separate voltage is not known to you. Vr is not known to you. Vl is not known to you. Vl minus Vc is known to you. So Vr square is unknown. I am keeping it as it is. Vr square plus Vl minus Vc is 9 square. Keep this 9 square. Okay. So if you take off this root, it's here. Square. So 15 square is 225. 225 minus 81 is 9 square, which is going to be 144. 144 means Vr square is 144. Vr value is Vr value is 12. Vr value is 12 volts. Okay. We got Vr value, but we need a Vc value. Okay. I think once you know Vr value, it's easy to get Vc value. Okay. Let's see what is Vl minus Vc. Vl minus Vc is 9. Or to get 9, any other method? Easy method I'm looking for. No. Okay. So anyways, Vr value is 12 you got. Total voltage is 9. Now your objective is to find out this. Any easy technique? Any other easy technique? No other easy technique from your end? Okay. So now let's take this. This job is done. Terminal voltage is 225 is equal to it's 144 plus VL minus VC square, we got it. Um, no, we're actually lengthening this. We're actually lengthening this. We should not lengthen, we should find a better approach we should find a better approach better approach is uh, 20 real is huh. you can take it that way What's that current I will take that that's fine okay that's good so total voltage is 20, Oops. but we don't have another other method, easy method, easy technique, okay, forget about that. Square root of, this 20 is equal to square root of 12 square plus VL square is this 20. So VL will be 144, 400, uh, 400 means you are going to get 256. Yeah, so VL square is equal to 400 minus 144, which is 256, means VL is equal to 16. But this is lengthening once again. Do you have any other method? No. This is 16 volts we got. This voltage is 16 volts. Now VL is suppose upwards, VC is downwards, this result is 9, you got this 6, so 7 should be this, 16 minus, this is 16, this is 7, the resultant will be 9, okay, this is VL which is equal to 16, this is VC which is equal to 7, then you will get the resultant as 9. Okay, so answer is A. But I think uh, we just went on going, going, going. It's killing time. But no other method. You definitely have to go with this method. There is no other method. If at least resistance value would have given and these RLC values would have given, then things might be a little bit easier. 
it's not given so i think they should consider this it's time taking at least a minute or so okay but again if you don't know these numbers 256 under root and this 15 square and all will end up in looping it's gone but i i tried to find out a better one but i don't think i didn't find any by substituting options in 9 volts by substituting options okay now we got a method from somebody in the chat madhu is suggesting something let's write that we got the answer as a so what he's suggesting is let's substitute options one by one let's see how it works this is 16 20 volts is this this is 9 this is not known to us Oh, okay. <laughs> that's, I think that's another best method, but you know, uh, for that, you need to be really good at a quantitative aptitude, okay? Because you know, this is 20, so 15 square, so 7 if you substitute here, okay, then you will be keeping 15 square. Let's keep this root here 15 square is equal to. Uh, hmm, smart. This is a smart way. You know, I'm, I'm trying this way so that you will be aware of what he's trying to say. Really good method. So, you know, this is a total voltage. This is VR. This is resistance voltage. This is VL. This is VL. And the resultant is this is VRL. And this is VC. Uh, for that, you need to really know this angle also, dear. But the angles are not given. So I don't think this will help. Hmm. I don't think this will help. Only one thing I can say from, you know, options, I can eliminate this option directly by looking at the question. I can eliminate this option because the resultant will be more than, not more than 20, it will be less than 20. Uh, so I don't think they, I see any other easy method. Okay. Phaser diagram, for that you need to know this angle, right? But this angle is not known to you. So how do you use a phaser diagram? I think, yeah, try to keep those numbers. That's what we're trying to do. Those squares and roots, 256, 225, 144, okay, for 169. So these numbers, not only for this case, our case, even for your quantity case also, you should try to keep those, okay? I think there is no other discount for this. If you can figure out any easy method, I'm happy to know. Okay, let's move to the next question. It can be 7 volts or 25 volts. Okay, yeah, but 25 is not given in the option. So, you cannot go for 25, it's only 7. Okay, but yeah, you're right. It cannot be 25. If it is 25, it can't be more than 15, right? Input voltage. So input voltage is 15, so it cannot be 25. It will be 7 only. That way, if you see, it's VL minus VC. No, possibly yes. That's a case. Valid case.
almost everybody marked it properly. Good. Okay, anyways, time's up. Let's see. For the circuit shown below, the current through one ohm resistor will be current through one ohm resistor 10 volts, 50 hertz. Okay, wow, see, simple here. One more, one more tip. 10, 8, whenever you see this 10, 8 combination, this voltage will be 6 volts straight away. Because square root of 6 square plus 8 square will be 10. 36 plus 64, which is 100, square root of 100 is 10. So straight away when you look at this, this is 10, this is 8 because Pythagoras is still valid here. Okay. So VR is one way, VL is this way. So Pythagoras, right angle triangle. So this will be six from Pythagoras. So directly when you know this voltage is six volts, six by one is six ampere because this voltage is known to you. Voltage across the resistor is known to you. Resistance value is known to you. Six by one, which is six ampere. The answer is C, okay? Straight thing. So this thing, this thing should have 10, eight, 3, 4, if it is 5, 3 and 4 when you have it is 5, 6 and 8 when you have it is 10, okay, 30, 40 it is 10, 30, 40 it is 100 I mean, okay, I hope you got the point what I am trying to say. These things you will know only with the practice, with the practice. Next question. Lakshmi, I think you need to contact on WhatsApp by proving that it's you actually on WhatsApp. You can go for climbing a coupon. Uh, do one thing, Lakshmi, uh, share your last four digits of your mobile number. Last four digits of your mobile number, give it in the chat. Time's up. So we got a mixed answers for this. Let's see who is right, who is wrong. In a single phase RL series circuit, if the current lags the supply voltage by angle phi, okay, single phase RL circuit, current definitely lags the supply voltage. So current, this is a voltage, this is a current. So he said the angle is phi. That's what he's trying to say. Then the voltage across the inductor dash the supply voltage per angle. Okay, so this is a current lags the supply voltage per angle phi. Okay, input voltage is this. This is input current. What he's trying to ask is for RL circuit. I'm just quickly drawing the circuit. The angle is given as phi. Voltage current angle is given as phi. Okay. Then uh, the voltage across the inductor and the supply voltage. Okay. So this is a current, this is a current phasor, this is a current phasor. I told you current flowing through the inductor 
एंड इंडक्टर वोल्टेज वोल्टेज अक्रॉस द इंडक्टर विल लीड द इंडक्टर करंट आई एम रिपीटिंग वोल्टेज अक्रॉस द इंडक्टर विल लीड इट्स ओन करंट बाई नाइंटी डिग्रीज सो दिस इज इंडक्टर वोल्टेज और एल्स यू कैन ऑल्सो से इंडक्टर करंट विल लैग इट्स वोल्टेज बाई नाइंटी डिग्रीज so this voltage is not a total voltage this voltage is only inductor voltage because you know the simple relation vl is equal to j into i xl simple so take i multiply with xl take a turn of j which is counter clock by 90 degrees you got a vl now he is asking about relation between vl and v input now this angle is phi now what will be this angle This is ninety minus phi. So inductor voltage will lead the input voltage. It is said voltage across the inductor leads the because voltage is input voltage is here. VL is leading leads the supply voltage by an angle ninety minus phi. Okay, and this leading and lagging concept. very clearly explained with the beautiful animation if you have any confusion just watch it search on youtube pi square phase diagram concept if you already took the course you already have it you will you will get the all the details in the course itself but if not you can also take that okay i think any confusion on this any confusion on this i shall move on great Okay, Lakshmi, we received your number, so you try to contact with the same number. What's up with the same number? I'll announce one more winner. Uh, I think one more question. Apart from this, we have one more question. After that, I'll announce another winner. so keep engaging the chat so that you will get a chance to play in the wheel time's up next chance is again for this okay let's see in a highly inductive circuit a small capacitance is added in series okay you got a highly inductive circuit highly inductive circuit it does not mean that there is no resistance it is highly inductive means a small amount of resistance not purely inductive there is a difference between a purely inductive and highly inductive very small amount of resistance is there in the circuit okay and a small value of capacitance is added to this now without adding a capacitance without adding a capacitance let's see the angle between applied voltage and the current for this circuit for this circuit highly inductive circuit what will be the angle between voltage and current angle between voltage and current is how much for this circuit highly inductive circuit i want to see what will the angle angle is approximately let's take it as 88 degrees not 90 degrees little less than 90 degrees that's why i'm writing as 88 degrees okay little less than close to 90 but not exactly equal to 90 close to 90 so 88 maybe 89 89.8 whatever okay now for this kind of a circuit i am adding a small capacitance in series okay then definitely 
there will be a slight change in the angle if it is a purely inductive if it is a purely inductive when you are adding a small capacitance to purely inductive circuit the angle will remain unaltered but for highly inductive there is a change slight change okay yeah luckily we have an option it will change but the change is not so significant the change is not so significant it is insignificant change okay so increase or decrease that's not a point you know it's it's about very slight change that's what we're trying to say okay i think the point is clear any confusion you can ask me otherwise we shall move to the next if it is a pure then you would have gone for option a okay i think i see no questions so i think i should move on okay now those who are saying decrease option uh, c mostly people have opted for option c let me talk about their perception also if suppose not highly inductive it is rl circuit it is rl circuit in case of rl circuit when you are adding c when you are adding a capacitance to the circuit then definitely the angle voltage and current angle will be reduced the angle will reduce if it is normal rl circuit okay and this altering is reduces a bit it will reduce the angle a bit but very insignificant that's what i am trying to say if the r value is significant compared to xl then there is a significant decrease in the angle that's true okay i think you got the point yeah that's what i'm saying decreases for sure but that's what alter means decreases so to be more precise it is decreases but insignificant okay i think that's also clear any anything more we have a next question i think no no more next questions that's the last we're done with it not so controversial options tricky options but yeah these are the questions which are asked in the previous uh, history so you'll have to handle it okay you have to be careful you have to read the options careful that's why you are exposed now if you are not aware of you know in the previous sessions also we took some interest in these kind of uh, options okay now you are exposed to how to handle these kind of situations so it should be easy on you now at least okay that's why we strongly recommend you to try to go through the previous questions maybe from one exam or different exams is much better so that you will be exposed to see the questions in a different perspective okay anyways now it's winner time okay let's roll again yeah who is one of this time sai prakash is a winner sai prakash again are you there sai prakash if you are there we will stay with you otherwise uh we will we'll give it to the next sai prakash are you there last call for sai prakash sai prakash is not there because of the no response we are moving to the next winner bang Kritish, you are the next winner because Sai Prakash, because of his absence, we moved on. Are you there, Kritish? Are you there? 
last call <laughs> oh okay so kritesh is there he is the second winner you are also getting a 30% coupon code discount coupon code in the chat now give your last four digits of the mobile number your four digits of mobile number you will give it and reach us on whatsapp contact us on whatsapp we will share you the 30% discount coupon code to you and first you tell me your four digit number okay so we receive the number reaches on whatsapp that's end of this lecture this session thank you all for joining see you in the next session unless you have a question uh, we got a question here sir notification notification will be sooner before this 10th you can expect the notification very shortly but you know when, when i say it, within two days or three days you'll be you know you'll, you'll increase your anxiety your anxiety levels will increase so yeah before 10th of this month you can expect the notification okay tomorrow will be the next live next live will be tomorrow maybe 8 or 8 30 pm and mostly we'll have a live session every day at 8 or 8 30 anything more Okay then, thank you for joining, bye-bye.